We've got snacks. We're going on a little road trip today. So the kids have specially kitted out the van, so we're all ready for our little tour today. Everybody watch their heads. It's not very clean the car, is it? So our drive today is first going to take us to St Felix Public Beach and then onwards to Grigri in the Suyak region of Mauritius. So this is the first stop on our little tour. We're in St Felix Beach, which is on the south coast of Mauritius. And how amazing is that water? Quite good snorkeling here, but strong currents. And I love this part of the coast because it's wild and rugged and really undeveloped. But you want to Never taste a mushroom if you don't know that it's safe. Super long beach, look at this, all the way along. Beautiful beach. You can see this track. It's really good for skating. I haven't been on a skateboard for a while, I'm going to give it a little go. <laughs> She broke her knee. I'm old and I have an injured knee but why not it's good to be a kid every now and then and how cool is this track it's very long goes all the way along the beach this beach is often used for events like triathlons because of this amazing track which extends for quite a few kilometers along the coast I've said this before and I'll say it again we're feeling quite privileged to be stuck on this island as it were sorry about my hat but it is pretty hot uh, because we still have the freedom to be able to go to the beach, go to restaurants, go out and about and enjoy island life for what it has to offer. So that's cool and as you can see here there's lots of people out having picnics, camping, enjoying this fabulous beach. I mean look at it. In these times of Covid we've got to enjoy every little bit of freedom we have. Peace. All right, we're going, carrying on with our little tour now. We are going to head to Grigri. I'm head to Grigri. From St. Felix, Grigri is only about 15 to 20 minutes drive, unless you're me. Earth, are we? And then you get lost. My typical fashion, we've missed the Grigri turn, but I just want to show you this building in the background over there. That is the famous St. Auburn building. This is part of the T tour. And yeah, it's well worth pulling up in here because that building is absolutely stunning. Look at it. Beautiful colonial building. So um, even though I took the wrong turn, it's very nice to check that place out. St Alban is an elegant structure that dates back to 1819. The estate no longer produces sugar, but in the gardens there's still a traditional rum distillery and it's well worth a visit. Found it at last, we're in Grigri. Ah, the soothing sounds of the ice cream van. it 
down to the beach and uh, it's pretty impressive down here less wind of course and we've got these amazing volcanic cliffs these big volcanic rocks behind me against this white sandy beach the black and white contrast is simply magnificent As you can see, it's an absolutely superb place to come if you want to just be immersed in nature. But beware, swimming is absolutely prohibited as the currents are very, very strong here. One thing that stands out for me here is the raw ruggedness of this place. Uh, you know, we're so used to in Mauritius having these beaches which are perfectly protected by these wide lagoons. And this is just rough ocean breaking straight onto the beach. Lovely. I love the energy of the waves. Wonderful. What do you think of Grigri? It's good. The waves are more roughly and bigger because there's no barrier de corail. While you're in the Grigri area, I highly recommend you take a short, easy walk to La Roche qui pleure. You'll go through this wonderful forest and the views are great. There's also some interesting architecture along the coastline. It's so incredibly hot, it's definitely time to get off the beach and go and find out more about a wonderful restaurant called Cherosi, which is just up the hill. This restaurant is famous for its lobster curry and its chicken dishes. I'm absolutely keen to give it a taste. I caught up with a head chef in the kitchen. It's a very famous restaurant, no, Cherosi? I hope so. Quite, quite famous, no? If you go to it, it's, uh, it's everywhere. I think the people like the, the way we are. Yeah, and maybe the food also as well. Because you offer uh, home style cooking, no? Mauritian yeah, yeah, home no, no. style. You just make it yeah. just like that. It's important to remember that during these times of COVID, it's best to support local. So if you want to know more about Cherosi, do check out TripAdvisor and also Facebook. Well, that was extremely fun. A little tour of Grigri and Suyak and the Savan region of Mauritius. But we are very hot. It is absolutely baking. So it is time for us to head back to, uh, to our home. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and we will catch you again very soon for more cool stuff on Island Terrace. See ya! Okay, what's going on in the back there? What are these kids up to? Yeah? I'm not doing anything. <laughs>